I thought we had ZZ Top instead, but um, Joe, I need you to <laughs> Joe, I need you to unmute for me because I got something to say to you. What's that? Two words. Welcome home. <laughs> That's very nice to hear. It's I have so many many fabulous memories hanging out with you all there in the Brighton Hove area. I just don't have enough kind words. Um, it's quite a pleasure to close off the show here, uh, but I suspect that it's because it's nearly impossible to find someone who's crazy enough to want to follow Son of Dave, who is just, <laughs> just amazing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, well, to be honest with you, I mean, I you know, we, we've been all around the world over the past three days, a long weekend, and we've vis been visited by all our wonderful trade sponsors. We've raised over three thousand pounds for the children in in the hospital as well, with wishing well. It's just been the most amazing joyride, I have to say, and I cannot think of any better way, regardless of Son of Dave, who is just astonishing, as you say, and his humour as well, just has us rolling around with laughter here. But I cannot think of any better way to finish off our first online event than to welcome back for, I've lost count now, because you are one of the family, ladies and gentlemen, the very special, the one and only, Mr. Joe Felisco. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa, I'm stranded all day long. Whoa, I'm stranded where I don't belong. Whoa, I'm stranded and here's my song. Here's my song. Whoa, I'm stranded with no place to go. Whoa, I'm stranded with my head hung low. Whoa, I'm stranded. Time goes on slow, goes on slow, goes on slow, goes on slow. Whoa, I'm stranded all day and night. Whoa, I'm stranded with this appetite. Whoa, I'm stranded. Just ain't right. It just ain't right. It just ain't right. Just ain't right. Whoa, I'm stranded at this place again. Whoa, I'm stranded till I don't know when. Whoa, I'm stranded, Lord. Amen. Have mercy, amen. Have mercy, amen. Have mercy, amen. All right, thank you, folks. That was a original song off of the first record that I did with Eric Noden of all originals, the Icy Special. Yeah, so I did. I want to dedicate that one to my fabulous friend and vocal coach, Mr. Richard Bennett. And uh, got a little thing here next, which is uh, inspired by the amazing Sonny Terry. It's a song Eric and I recorded on the On The Move record. A little thing called Mystery. It's original tune, but trying to uh, conjure the spirit of Sonny Terry.
I like it, baby, when you come around. Keep me close to the ground, like the roots of a tree. I need you, baby, it ain't no mystery. Still, you know I've got to find a way and chase these blues away. Open my eyes and see. I need you, baby, it ain't no mystery. Hey now, baby, don't you fall apart. Every day brings a new start. And you hold the key. I need you, baby, it ain't no mystery. You sure do make me smile Let's stay here a while I do believe I need you, baby, it ain't no mystery I need you, baby, it ain't no mystery no mystery yeah yeah thank you thank you thank you kindly um, I wanted to say that uh, I make no promises but if anybody has any relevant questions um, R Richard Taylor use your judgment if anybody you think anybody's got a relative question then I, I, I'm very flexible about that um i'm gonna do a tune now that i th i guess i would say is kind of one of my specialties and that is um conjuring the style of gwen foster you can see his name there um singers of the piedmont he had one of the most unique harmonica playing harmonica approaches when he played because he, he had these little growling things that he did and these are fluttering things that he did all that kind of stuff very 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 unique player and uh, I always try to uh, bring him up so that lest he not be forgotten somebody that special shouldn't be forgotten in my opinion so Gwen Foster is a tune that uh, Eric and I uh, recorded on a, actually this is our first album also the IC special yeah so here you go I think you'll like this <clears throat> Hey now, honey, baby, I don't like the way you do. Always running around, causing trouble through and through. Everything I needed, well, baby, I found in you. Hey now, honey, baby, I don't like the way you do. Well, now she's gone. Well, now she's gone. She's long gone and left me standing here. Oh, 
Why'd you leave me here? Leave me here all alone. One day you're mine, the next one you're gone. You said that you needed me each and every day. You said that you love me and stop them low down ways. And well, now she's gone. Well, now she's gone. She's long gone, left me standing here. <laughs> Tonight I'm going out drinking, drinking all night long, trying to forget the things that I did wrong. One more shot of whiskey, one more glass of beer. If you see my baby, won't you tell her that I'm here? Well, now she's gone. Well, now she's gone. She's long gone and left me standing here. Yeah. Seasons, they change from the summer to the fall. Still think about my baby, my little all in all. Maybe she's out east, maybe she's out west. Wherever she's at, I still like her the best. Well, now she's gone. Well, now she's gone. She's long gone and left me standing here. Well, now she's gone. Well, now she's gone. She's long gone and left me standing here. Yeah. <laughs> Now she's gone, featuring the unique, unforgettable harmonica playing style of the North Carolina player Gwen Foster. Yes. So I got something really special now for you. Pretty darn excited about this one. It's a new song. Something new. Um, so there's a little story behind it. Um, I'm hanging out backstage with my dear friend Steve Baker at the World Harmonica uh, Harmonica Masters Workshop and uh, um, a friend of ours uh, Kim Rocha comes up and says hey watch this I want you to watch this I'm gonna do this thing on stage and I'm gonna do I'm gonna play this chord circular breathing and he said, yep, yeah, and it's special because I'm going to be inhaling. And Steve and I looked at each other and we just said, that's not possible. It can't be done. Well, about 60 seconds into the performance, I, 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 my jaw was on the ground because this, not only was this the coolest thing that I've experienced in years, but it, it gave me an answer to a question I was looking for, which is how to sustain more, how to sustain more. I, I want to make sure uh, if, if you as a listener need to hear lots of notes and fast notes, I'm going to probably be a disappointment to you because I'm the slowest player that there ever was. And I'm always looking for ways to sustain things. So this was something that blew my mind. So I was, I had the mechanics down, so I was pretty quick to be able to incorporate some of this stuff. And I was uh, happy that uh, last year, one year ago, I was able to be on stage with Keem and uh, actually have him join me on a tune where we were doing some uh, circular breathing together. So now I'm going to feature this one here. Um, uh, my, my name, my title for the song for today is The Lost Rock Chase. I think that uh, there's something kind of interesting about chasing a rock. Uh, and that is the, I believe, the English translation translation for Keem's last name. So the last rock chase, if I do it right, 
every single sound you hear will be an inhaling sound. Oh, this is for Keem. This is what you started. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, two, three years ago, I would have never believed. I mean, I would have been adamant that that is not possible to do. So go figure. It's a humbling experience to uh, uh, figure or realize that something like that can be done. 
All right. A uh, early player, a couple songs of his are featured on this harmonica blues record. Uh, J. Bird Coleman. Uh, J. Bird Coleman, to me, is uh, a good example of a player, maybe the, the first example of a player, in my opinion, that really learned how to bend to get blues notes. Uh, for example, um, whereas it would be really easy to play a phrase like... In, out, in, out, in, out. J. Bird Coleman was like the first guy that I've ever really heard that kind of figured out that you could go and bend those notes flat and, and in ways that you might not uh, think are intuitive. And he was also the guy that painted with the most dirt um, lots and lots of dirt in his playing. That is not clean single notes. As a matter of fact, that's a really good way to uh, understand my approach to playing and what I really like, which is maximum number of chords tastefully played and minimum amount of clean single notes. So I'm going to do a song for you called The Jaybird Moan, which is also on this record that Eric and I did. Jaybird Moan, kind of in tribute to Jaybird Coleman. We don't want him to be forgotten. <sighs> yeah. Whoa! That poor jaybird, whoa, how he groans. <laughs> Well, he sounds most lonesome between midnight and day. Listen for that jaybird before he goes away. Whoa, jaybird. Oh, how he wails. <laughs> Got to leave now. And ride that long steel rail. Jaybird moan. Jaybird moan. All right. 
fabulous. I'm going to do a song off of my brand new record with Eric Noden. This Destination Unknown one. Yep. And let's see. Jesus, you hear me? I'm right on, on my knees. My Jesus, you hear me? I'm proud on, on my knees. When my head goes to bow, I hope your voice is clear. Sometimes I hear what I want to hear. Jesus sees his child clean and free of hate. My Jesus sees his child clean and free of hate. Men are cruel, men will fall, but mercy's great and grace is free. If anyone should not throw stones, it's me. My Jesus, show me how to do justly. My Jesus, show me how to do justly. Hold my hand, guide me through. I've been here countless times. Sometimes I know I can be so blind. Sometimes I know I can be so blind. Little fourth position harmonica there for you. Um, it's kind of like if maybe if Jazz Gillum ever did anything in fourth position, I guess I kind of imagine it would come out that, that similar sort of way. All right. One of, the, one of the players that I'm very fond of, and I think, uh, yeah, well, he fits the mold of being very, very unknown, is uh, Johnny Woods. Strangely enough, you know, is popular, is, is important of a hotbed is the state of Mississippi is for blues. I'm not so sure that you could say there's a Mississippi style for playing the harmonica other than Johnny Woods. To me, Johnny Woods and the stuff he did with Fred McDowell is really, it's a style, it's, it's a thing. And uh, I don't, I guess people don't do it because uh, it's just basically strong rhythmic chord playing. Uh, but I really love it. 
because I love chords. So little thing that I wrote and recorded on the Mist Train record. So this is a furious piece here. I got have to loosen up a little bit. <laughs> Starts, my feet ache, back smarts. I punch clock, start the shift. Ask the Lord for lift, for lift, for lift, for lift. My sleeves up. Head down, I'm trying to hide this long frown. Hours turn into days, Esther year, just a haze, just a haze, just a haze, just a haze. feel like I want to sob. It's a good thing I have a job. Feeling old, looking gray. Long gone, my younger day. Younger day, younger day, my younger day. Now gone, ambition, my chance slipped by, no regret, I didn't try, didn't try, I didn't try, I didn't try, I didn't try, I didn't try. I apologize if the the theme is a little bit depressing, but it's a it's a really it's an encouragement for young folks to get out there and follow your dreams while you can still do them. Please do. All right, Johnny Woods. Yep. So I'm a big 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 fan of Cajun harmonica style. So I got here's a LP with some Cajun harmonica, most notably. Isom Fontenot, and I think Jerry DeVillier might be on that record too. Dear friend of mine. So dear of a friend, I actually named him out in this song. There's just one place in 50 states that casts a spell and compels the traditions so be with holy cross every moss in the air everywhere hear them read sing that louisiana song city is fine and gritty, the mansion's tall, stucco walls and races friendly, people blended, cultures deep, music seeps in the air, everywhere, 
Hear them read, sing that Louisiana song. Get me down to Eunice Town, see Mr. Jerry, ha, he's legendary, and get enriched in Jasper's kitchen, two-step there, Cajun fare in the air, everywhere, hear them read sing that Louisiana song. Baton Rouge, Swampy Blues, world renowned, Excello sound. Do you know Slim Harpo makes you move with his groove in the air everywhere? Hear them read, sing that Louisiana song. There's just one place in 50 states that casts a spell and compels the traditions. So bewitching Holy Cross, eerie moss in the air, everywhere. Hear them read sing that Louisiana song. Hey, Richard Taylor, thank you so much for that fine accompaniment. Yeah, that was great. I was almost cracking up while I was trying to perform. That was a nice thing. All right. <clears throat> I got something here for you. Harmonicas and trains go together, but do harmonicas and boats go together? I don't know. Maybe. Here's my take on the sinking of the Titanic. April 14, 1912, brought ice alerts all day. But that proud ship is so mighty, its sheer size waves fear away. Home in dark Atlantic night, in came a wire with the coordinates of ice ahead that wasn't passed to Captain Smith. <laughs> So 
Golden Bridge is left to guessing in that showcase of man's best. Half hoping in those powers now unsinkable, it's blessed. They know there's ice, they can smell it. Eyes strain to find the shape. It's straight ahead, too late. They said it's made a bending scrape. <laughs> Six sections flood quick, and four was all that the Titan could afford. Not half the needed lifeboats for those trusting souls on board. Most wake to an icy dream and start to ask around. Confusing scene the band plays while the lifeboats are let down. Disbelief, then breaking floods, but strange calm to the last. Some didn't know to save themselves, some knew and could but pass. Some knew and could but pass. We built our best, but 1,500 lost lives hangs our heads. Our stark mistakes are more stained when God willing has not been said. When God willing has not been said. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I wanted to uh, make mention that uh, if you like anything, you hear all the records that I have with Eric Noden. That one comes from the Mist Train. Those are all available on the bandcamp.com website. Bandcamp. It's rootsduo.bandcamp.com. And uh, if you like and enjoying listening to me perform, I want you to know that I'm usually doing it on a weekly basis on the 34lounge.com. That's a platform that the amazing no Eric Noden created so that we can share our live music in this crazy time, horrible time for musicians with all the gigs being canceled. That is, you can check us out on a weekly basis. We usually play on Thursday, 34lounge.com, 34lounge.com. All right. We're doing pretty good as far as time goes here. Joe, you're doing beautifully. There are no questions because everybody is simply entranced by your music. <laughs> you're very kind there, Sir Taylor. You're very kind. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
tell you about this girl of mine She's my baby and she's so fine When she smiles it makes the sun shine bright She makes me feel higher than the highest kite My little baby does his trick with time Some people say it may be a crime She can make you fly by or stand dead still And only God knows how she got this skill Just the other day I was feeling blue I didn't realize what I needed to do I closed my eyes and imagined her face The temperature rose, heart began to race My days are so gloomy when she's away And on bright color just endless gray I think I'll call her on the telephone And I'll beg and plead for her to hurry on home So let me tell you about this girl of mine She's my baby and she's so fine oh, When she smiles it makes the sun shine bright She makes me feel higher than the highest kite My days are so gloomy when she's away And no bright color just dimless gray so I think I call her on the telephone And I beg and plead for her to hurry on home And I beg and plead for her to hurry on home And I beg and plead for her to hurry on home And I beg and plead for her to hurry on home Yeah had to, had to fit in a blues love song in there, you know? Had to. Yes. All right. I think we're doing pretty good. I got two more songs planned. I think that's going to wrap us right up perfectly. Maybe the police... Maybe the judge It may be your boss man You know holds a grudge But sometimes It may well be That you could be your own worst enemy it may be your mother It may be your dad Maybe a brother Who treated you bad But sometimes It may well be That you could be your own worst enemy It may be the winter For some it's the heat It may be the traffic On every street 
But sometimes it may well be that you could be your own worst enemy. Well, some think the government And some think the church Maybe those generals Are so high on their perch But sometimes it may well be that you could be your own worst enemy. Well, most think the devil, but some may think God or the extremist well, that fights his jihad. But sometimes it may well be that you could be your own worst enemy. But sometimes it may well be that I am my own worst enemy. Yeah, yeah. That was a little number that Eric and I recorded on our, on our, um, what was it? Boy, it was a record we did. What's the name of that record? <laughs> on the move. <laughs> All right, I have one final tune for you here. It's a special one. Um, it's the uh, only song that's not an original. And it's got a train theme to it. So I, I really, I have to do something and keep the train theme going. But last year, I already did a train song. So I was thinking, I can do this. This is perfect. So this is a little kind of a uh, little bit. There's a hint of a tribute to Peg Leg Sam in this one. One of my favorite performers is a little Peg Leg Sam record because Peg Leg Sam was known for doing a heck of a version of this song. <clears throat> All right. John Henry was a little baby boy, no bigger than the palm of your hand. He picked up a hammer and a little piece of steel, said, I'm gonna be a steel driving man, Lord, Lord, I'm gonna be a steel driving man. And Captain said to John Henry, bring my steam drill around, bring my steam drill out on the job and wop that steel on down, Lord, Lord. And the John Henry said to the captain, a man ain't nothing but a man. Before I let that steam drill beat me, I will die with this hammer in my hand, Lord, Lord. And the die with this hammer in my hand, Lord, Lord, I'll die with this hammer in my hand. 
shaker said to John Henry, Derive like you've never done before. Rev is you myth with a nine pound hammer. Damn, but more, Lord, Lord, who we'll have the job no more. You won't have a job no more, Lord, Lord, you won't have a job no more. John Henry said to the shaker, Shaker, you better pray, because if I miss with this nine pound hammer, tomorrow gonna be your burying day, Lord, Lord, tomorrow gonna be your burying day. Man who invented the steam drill, he thought it was mighty fine. Well, John Henry drove 14 feet. Steam drill only made nine, Lord, Lord. Steam drill only made nine. When John Henry drove for the Southern, he drove steel on the CNO. He drove steel on the Big Ben Tunnel. Steel driving killed John, you know, Lord, Lord. Steel driving killed John, you know. They took John Henry to the graveyard and buried him in the sand. And every locomotive come roaring by. Said, There lies a steel driving man, Lord, Lord, and there lies a steel driving man. John Henry. All right. <laughs> and Joe Felis Co, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, come on, put your hands together for our dearest friend, all the way from Joliet, <laughs> Illinois, Illinois, USA. <laughs> Fantastic. Joe, what is that you're holding in your hand beside the harmonica? Um. Well. I have I have a, an assortment of little cups and cans that I use uh, to confuse people, to make people think that surely it must be the cup or the can that makes that sound. So I do it for the sheer act of amusing myself. But it, as you can see, that there is um, some potential because you can get. But then I can't snap my fingers if I'm going. So it's a really, it's a good way to get that hand resonant sound. And actually it makes playing easier because then you're more relaxed. Your shoulders are down. You have, you're using less muscles in your chest. It's a good way to go. And I guess why, uh, you know, a horn player might have a whole tube in front of them to resonate with. We don't have that. It's all internal for us, right. so that perhaps, you know, is a fix, huh? Correct. Yeah. Well, we have the, the two resonators, which is our head and neck, and then the external resonator, which is what we do with our hands. Cool. Any new yes. records coming out? Uh, well, we're planning on, on making something. That's probably going to be the big goal for this 2021 20, year. Um, and I will have some new 
study songs on the Falisco store page too for designed especially for the frustrated intermediate harmonica player that wants to get the bigger sound and tone of the Chicago blues giants. And what's the what's the uh, address of that website, Joe? What's it's just my it? my last name, Felisco.com, basically. Felisco.com. Yeah. Are you yeah. still doing your workshops every week? Um, I'm not going to confirm or deny that. That's all okay. under the radar, top secret stuff. <laughs> I apologize. Okay, we'll move on. How old were you when you first picked up a date? No, hang on. When you first picked up a harmonica, sorry. <laughs> Well, I was, um, I think I was about 21 when I picked it up really seriously and couldn't put it down. And would you recommend a customized harmonica for what you're doing? Um, a custom harmonica is really not required. This is really pretty low tech music here. Uh, but uh, certainly if you have the budget and you want to spend it on one, then you'll get something that is even easier to play, less wind. It's not a problem for me because I'm a windbag. I'm full of hot <laughs> air, so I don't I don't need a, a fancy harmonica to get much of the stuff that I'm doing. <laughs> I was asking you, know, does customization help it, making it easier and bending those low tune harmonicas? Well, certainly the customization is going to make it easier to play overall. You'll get a more responsive harmonica, less wind. But it's not something that, uh, and you can check my students in all the years that I've been teaching, it's not something that I ever recommend to people, like with this idea that huh, you're having a problem playing here. Let's see, is, is the answer practice more wisely or spend your money on a custom harmonica? The answer is always practice more wisely. <laughs> there you go, and and wise words themselves, Joe. Well, there's a lot. I've, I've just been looking around the room here. There's lots of friends here from Brian and Stuart Mackay, John Yuki, Roger Trowbridge, Sarah wow. Sullivan, Anthony Questions here, Gims here, Big Azza, Danny Cash, and Debbie Salkeld joining in for the first time and saying, "Wow, wow, wow." Matthias nice. Bogerfors from uh, Sweden, all the crew from Trossingen, Cathal Johnson in Ireland, Adam Burney, Ricky Cool, Steve Baker, Marcus Cole, Ed Hotwood, Victor Puerta, Son of Dave. The whole harmonica community has come to play tribute and say thank you. Thank you for closing Harp by the Sea 2021. Can we persuade you to do our first and, first and only encore? Um... Am I putting you on the spot there? Because we've got plenty. Sure. Of As a matter of fact, we, I think a good one. We can't let you go without one more, can we, people? Oh, Come on, well, put your I... hands together, please. Come on, for Joe Felisco. Thank you, folks. Unbelievable honor here to play my old-fashioned music and be able to close this show off. It's a tremendous pleasure. And there's so many, you named so many names that are dear, dear friends of mine. All right. Here's one of the study songs that I have up at Felisco's store, uh, Henry's Lament.
Henry's Lament. Yay, Joe Falisco, ladies and gentlemen. Joe, gentleman Joe? Yeah, I think that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you still got one of these at home? I do. Yay. Yeah. Tell me about. Hey, hey, we're sending uh, Hobsbawm Swears across the Atlantic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. That was just sensational. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've been on quite a journey this weekend. Joe, if I just let you know that we have had 15 of our uh, 15 artists, 12, 13 of whom were at Harping by the Sea over the last 10 years. Victor Puedas, Aki Kumar, for the first time, Mickey Raphael joined us on Friday. Our own Paul Gillings, Dave Ferguson from South Africa, Steve Weston from the UK, Will Wilde from the UK, Fede Vaz from Uruguay, Mark Hummel from California, USA, Aidan Sheehan from Wales, UK, Adam Burney from Croydon, UK, Marcus Cole from Spain and Germany, Steve Baker from Germany, ex-UK, Son of Dave from in the UK, ex-Canada, and your good self. Will you come back when things change? Will you come back in person and join us once again? I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I can say no to you and Stuart. The two of you <laughs> are the ultimate double teamers. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Joe Felisco and Harping by the Sea, 2021.